All right, everyone, the moment of truth is finally upon us. We have the information for both Gogeta and Broly. So there is going to be a new Frieza and a new EX uh, Broly base form as well from Dragon Ball Super. But we're going to start off just by going over these characters, and we'll cover those units at a uh, later time because I'm too hyped for the two new LF units. Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are going to pull. They are going to be on separate banners. There's some, some other stuff going on there. They're going to incentivize it different ways. But again, they are going to be uh, available tonight it seems obviously they've been pushed to the game so we're gonna go over this let me know if you guys are gonna pull if you are new hit that subscribe stick around for more content we're gonna have a ton of showcases i am ready man i'm ready for the meme to end with gogeta bro i'm excited so here we go let's take a look at the main ability you guys have been seeing it here for a second draws the ultimate arts card meteor explosion next restores health by 30 percent and key by 40 gain attribute upgrade minus 100 percent to enemy sustained damage cut effects for 30 counts as well and nullifies own downgrades and abnormal conditions that is a lot <laughs> that is a lot to get on the main ability that's incredibly powerful and very potent as you can tell so first unique ability applies the falling effects itself when the battle starts an automatic 60 percent damage inflicted buff cannot be canceled reduces damage received by 30 percent again can't be canceled and an automatic 50 percent key recovery buff cannot be canceled so those are all uh very very modern numbers nowadays for units applies the falling effects itself when the character enters the battlefield he restores itself by 10%. Restores key as well. Just for switching? Just hold on. Just for switching, he heals? <laughs> so, so when he switches in, he heals and he gains key. And he gets damage 20% for 20 counts. And gains the buff effect, nullifies enemies' special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 counts, activates three times. So he gets a three times uh time three chances to do the, the nullification of special cover changes. He gets a damage buff. He gets key. That's all you really need on switch in. Um, he has health. The only thing I'm not seeing here, and I'm sure it might pop up, is the ability to draw extra cards. Let's see, man. Plus 25% of damage inflicted against powerful opponent. Can't be canceled. So he'll always do 25% more damage to basically every antagonist ever in Dragon Ball. They're all pretty much powerful opponents. So that's pretty powerful, as you can tell. Pun intended. Hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, today's video like, oh, 2,000, 2,000. Applies the following effects itself upon landing a strike or blast arts hit. Uh, plus 10% of damage inflicted up to 50 can't be canceled. Okay, so a little bit of a ramp up effect here on the... It's, it's the same type of unique ability that the Zenkai Gogeta has and a couple of other units, but it's a little bit different. They, they've repurposed it here. So he gets uh, up to 50% more damage that can't be canceled and up to 30% more ultimate damage too. That's like one combo, bro. That's like one combo, literally. Okay. Knocks the enemies back to long range of a cover is performed against their strike arts, and it activates during assists in co-op as well. And you can only combo into the special move arts, it seems. Okay, so, so far, so good. So let's see how things are working for him. So he does have the anti-blast armor effect that LF Piccolo and the blue, the old, old blue transforming Dragon Ball Super Broly Gogeta had. So plus 100% of blast damage inflicted against enemies' blast armor. So that's really good, uh, as you can tell. Deals massive impact damage. Plus 30% of damage inflicted for 15 counts upon activation with the special move, which is teachable. 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 That's really good. Another awesome move for Shallot. 30% general damage is nuts upon activation, meaning if, even if you miss by chance, um, that's still going to give you the buff. And then also minus 50% to enemies' health restoration for 20 counts on hit. That's a lot in just one regular special move arts. Okay, his green card. Combos into strikes, blasts, special moves, and ultimates. That's the first thing I needed to see. All right, reduces damage received by 30% for five counts upon activation. Another 30% damage cut. Can't be stacked, um, but he'll still get two separate 30s, as you can tell. All right. Counter will activate upon enemies taps uh, any strike based uh, action. So that's the same as the uh, Zenkai Gogeta I do like how they ripped parts of Zenkai Gogeta and like what he was obviously pre Zenkai just that red Gogeta in general and applied it here The following effects occur when counter activates he draws a strike card next. So that's his ability to draw. Okay uh, Restores key as well by 40 um, plus 50% of damage as well cancels enemies attribute upgrades he doesn't cancel enemies buff effects which would be things like type nullification and a couple of other things that's uh immunities and stuff like that the the other gogeta does do that but the other gogeta i don't believe restores key as well so also on top of that he does no switch for five counts and it combos into everything and he draws a strike drawing a strike is ridiculous because that's the best combo starting card in the game so that's unless you have like a combo starting green like this i guess but you get the point 
It, it closes distance. That's ridiculous utility. Like, it's so much better than drawing a blast there, for example. That's really, really good, man. Um, he's looking impressive. So for the last couple of things here for Gogeta, his ultimate deals uh, supreme impact damage, just like UI Goku and Vegito Blue. He now has the other th the third, I don't, I don't wanna say third strongest, but one of the three strongest ultimates in the game based on modifying damage. Applies the falling effects to self upon activation, plus 30% to ultimate damage inflicted for three counts. Okay, so that comboed with the other 30 or so percent earlier. He's gonna be having a lot of ultimate damage buffs. Also, he has the ability to nullify endurance and he has blast armor. He has the strike arts that increase the strike damage that he puts in your deck. That's a lot different than the natural blaster that he has up here. Very, very good. Uh, his strike didn't seem to have any effect on it. I didn't see it, but it didn't seem like there was any effect on his strike. Anyways, uh, so the blast art is one that increases damage uh, for whoever uses it. Again, very, very good card. We already kind of knew the Z ability. Just for reference, he uh, he's yellow, right, as you guys saw. He is going to be starting off with episode sagas for the movies, then transitioning a three-star to God Key, and then at six-star, Fusion Warrior. So that's what it's looking like for him and how he's going to be functioning, right? So Gogeta seems incredibly impressive. Obviously, I'll reserve judgment to when we can actually see him in action, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, Blue Broly here. Another Blue Broly. Third one in the game, right? Anyways, so let's take a look at Broly now. I'm excited. Like I said, this is so awesome. If you guys are excited, remember, subscribe, stick around for more. Let me know, like I asked earlier, who you're hyped for. Um, so here we go. Draws the, draws the ultimate next. Uh, gigantic Force. Restores health by 25% and key by 50. Okay, that's a lot. Gain buff effects nullifies the enemy's special action that activates when changing cover for 15 counts, okay? So he picks up that same effect. I didn't think he would have that because they didn't list it, obviously, in the picture. He picks it up on the main ability. Cancels his own downgrades and conditions as well. That's also, again, really good stuff here. 25 counts. Plus 50% of damage inflicted against Saiyans? Can't be canceled? That's going to... That's gonna always be good in the game, man. Obviously, eventually he'll get power crabs. I mean, that's just how the game is, right? It's not a surprise. But 50% is such a whopping number to such a wide, you know, roster in the game. Saiyans is expansive. To just have that and that powerful of a buff, like for context, Gogeta had just 25 versus powerful opponent, which is, again, the equivalent to Saiyan, I guess. It's expansive like that. But it's still, I digress, you know, it's pretty crazy. And another, plus 50% of strike damage inflicted against all characters except for Saiyans. So he's always going to do a ton of damage. So he does an extra 50% strike damage to non-Saiyan characters to basically make up for the difference in the, the special selectivity that he's having with that unique, right? Versus the first part and the second part. Plus 20% of damage inflicted for 10 counts every time he uses an arts card. Oh, any arts card gives him a buff. Plus 20% of damage inflicted when he evades the enemy's attack with Vanishing Step. He does have Blast Armor on his strike, so keep that in mind. That's going to be pretty interesting to maintain utility uh, and uh, be able to get your leverage back, right? Plus 20% of damage inflicted after the enemy's attack is over. That should function on tap punches, tap, all that. It should work on any arts card, basically. Uh, so while this character is on the field, applies the following effects itself when the enemy switches characters, restores health, activates five times. This dude heals 50% health right here, just casually, up to 50%. 10 times, 10% uh, five times, wow. Okay, plus 25% of damage inflicted. He has a card draw speed buff. That, okay, so I didn't really get too deep into it because I'm just kind of like super pumped, man. The only thing I saw missing from this dude's kit, the Gogeta's kit, was an actual like card draw speed buff. But like, I get why they didn't give it to him, unless I missed it. But I get why they wouldn't have given it to him, because he's doing a lot, man. He's going to shred. So having that, too, is just like overkill. Anyways, so back to Broly. Car draw speed buff when the enemy switches. That's uh, that's actually ripped right from uh, Android 18, isn't it? That's one of the things that makes Android 18 ridiculous. That's ridiculously good to have. Broly seems incredible. Um, restores Vanish Engage by 50%? Five times? <laughs> Activates five times. Dude, stop. Did, need I remind you this dude has blast armor? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Like, in the hands of a skilled blast armor player, far better than me, for example. Like, that, this dude's going to be, literally, they said untouchable, or, yeah, untouchable at the bottom. This dude is going to be unbeatable, bro. <laughs> Obviously, you could beat him, but you get the point. Like, he's ridiculous. 
Reduces the accuracy by 40%. This whole combo ends when changing cover as well, okay? And he has a knockback uh, to long range if a cover is performed against the strike arts. And you can only combo into blue cards. Again, Blast Armor. Uh, his Blast Arts actually restores key by five upon activation. Wow. So Blaster Cannon, massive impact damage. has a faint chance on it. This green card restores his key by 30, increases card draw speed <laughs> by, <laughs> by one for 15 counts. Oh, he has another card draw speed buff. Nice. Reduces next damage sustained as well. This dude is so well. They're both so well rounded, but this dude has so many buffs. And then, like, to see him still having access to, like, cuts and stuff is pretty crazy. And need I remind you, like, the freaking healing he has, the uh, gauge restoration he has. Like, dude, what is that? Applies until the enemy's combo is over. So the ultimate applies the falling effects itself upon activation. He doesn't have a strong of a modifier. It's just massive, which is still really good. Uh, but plus 30% to ultimate damage. Minus 100% enemy sustained damage cut effects. Inflicts four switching on hit. And it has blast armor. God dang. <laughs> Powerful opponent. This, you guys can read that bottom part. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what happened here? This snap. They snapped. What the heck? Oh my god, dog. Well, this is ridiculous. I might have to go for Broly, man. And Broly's banner seems like it's better just on the surface anyway, man, with Vegito Blue and stuff. So again, it looks like they're coming out tonight. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, let me know your thoughts. Obviously, I'll reserve judgment until we see these dudes in action. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe, of course, if you are new to the channel for more content as well as the notifications so you miss every upload here on the channel. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next one.